What's up guys? So I wasn't able to run the Creighton 8S for the first time yesterday. By the time I got home, it was too dark. I ran out this morning and got some double A's for the remote control. And I'm just about to go out into the garage and put the batteries in and uh, run the truck for the first time. So let's go. All right, so I got the double A's for the remote control for the Creighton. Got two batteries, four S LiPos, 5600 mAh, 120C. And I also have my uh, dad's three cell LiPo we got yesterday, 5200, 50C, with this awesome charger I got. Got the uh, VXL rustler over here, the brushless. And uh, I'm gonna take that to the park later. Here's my old Revo 3.3. I'm gonna be actually selling that. This thing's fully modified, new engine, new gas tank. Um, also comes with a glow plug and fuel. So. And under here, here's the Creighton. I'm gonna take the remote control out of the box and uh, we're gonna run this thing. Just every time I look at this thing, I can't believe how big it is. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> but uh, should be pretty fun. Let's get the remote out. All right, I switched over to my GoPro head mount, so apologies if you can't hear me as well. But um, we got the remote inside here. Push the remote. And uh, as I understand, this is the latest uh, remote to come with the Creighton. The one before was the DX2. This is the DX3. Um, just from watching a couple of vi uh, videos on YouTube, and this is not going to be a super in-depth techie review. It's really just me purchasing the truck and unboxing it and taking it out for its first drive. And then I'm um, take it to the park later to bash it with the R RC Boca guys. But so this DX3 controller transmitter has a nice upgraded wheel here. It's got like this uh, foam pad on instead of just the hard plastic. And from what I understand about the other videos I watched is I've never seen the DX2 in person. But it did not have this like control panel here with clear instructions on what does what and all the trim settings. And um, there's actually a Bluetooth module you can put on this control, I'm pretty sure. Um, not sure where exactly it goes, but it's got the smart technology. Pretty cool. You can bind it. Just by just a bind button here. Nice Spectrum remote. And um, got the batteries for it. I put them in. Takes four double A's. And uh, it should just power on, I believe. Actually, not really sure what the A and B means. There we go. Pretty cool. Now uh, we're gonna get the batteries put into the truck and uh, we'll take it out for a spin. Okay, so seeing as how the old workbench just barely fit the Revo on there, uh, being it's 110 scale, it's definitely not gonna be good enough for the Creighton. So temporarily, gonna have to use our massive uh, recycling and garbage cans. Uh, we got the batteries here. We have the DX3 transmitter. Going to remove these body pins. And I showed you guys these yesterday at uh, RC Boca, but I just love these kind of like body savers and uh, these like hood pins. So you're never going to lose the uh, body pins, which I don't know about you guys, but over the years I've lost probably hundreds of these things. Okay. Just pulls right out. At first you're kind of afraid to pull on this rubber here. It has the uh, Arma logo on it, but it's actually pretty strong and I don't think it'll tear. I mean, if it does, I'm sure you can get replacements. And uh, just removing the body. I'm gonna set it in the box real quick. And uh, just like yesterday, I kind of went over and started Brandon from Innovation RC. You have the uh, like capacitor here. There's the electronic speed controller, the motor. Everything's got cooling fans. There's all kinds of chassis bracing and really just everything. It's just, as far as I understand, this new version 1.5 has really been beefed up over the uh, previous first gen, I guess, if you want to call it that. Um, these tires feel great. These, I mean, this thing is just massive. Shock towers are huge. They are plastic, but as I understand, it's to save weight, and they're actually stronger than aluminum. And I'm sure you can always upgrade those if they do crack, but I don't bash hard enough to crack uh, a shock tower or a control arm. And these are really beefy control arms. And the chassis is aluminum. I think it's like four millimeters thick. I love the wing. Uh, this truck does not come with a wheelie bar although there is a place for you to mount it and uh, just from watching videos of this thing bashing um, it really it's really planted and I think it has the uh, what's basically like stability control the automatic vehicle control or whatever it's called and uh, it'll basically keep the uh, Creighton from flipping and uh, this thing's got metal gears you can actually hear when you roll back and forth metal and metal gears there's the pinion um, everything's adjustable you can adjust the battery trays and um, Really just excited to get this thing out, so I'll stop talking, put the batteries in. These battery trays are a little tricky to figure out at first, but uh, it's really not too bad. It looks like the ones on the X-Max are a little more straightforward. 
but uh, it's really just some Velcro, not too bad. They go right into the battery tray there. Okay, that's a pain in the ass. Okay, so uh, I take back what I said about the battery trays being uh, not that hard to work with. Um, don't do what I just did. I just accidentally pulled this uh, strap out. So now I have to flip the truck over and uh, take some of this hardware out to remove the battery tray and then thread, um, thread the Velcro back in. So this is kind of a terrible design on Arma's part. And I'm gonna look for an aftermarket solution so that I don't have to deal with these horrible Velcro straps. But honestly, that's the only thing I have to complain about the truck. So unfortunately now I gotta go find the, uh, the proper hex screwdriver tool to uh, take these uh, screws out, but bear, bear with me. Of course the Allen wrenches I need are in that toolbox there. So, oh boy, it's never easy. Thankfully, the first one I grabbed does fit. Okay, nothing ever goes easy. Probably easier if I just put the truck on its uh, top here. Actually, that makes things much easier. And judging by that sound, the battery tray just flew out. As long as the battery box is out, I can show you guys that it is adjustable using this little piece here and the two screws. You can uh, slide it in, out as much as you want. And um, these kind of side pieces that they say armor on the side will protect it. And uh, yeah, you can pretty much put any battery you want in here. And uh, just remember not to lose these straps. And if you know of a way to better secure the batteries, it's not such a pain in the ass, definitely let me know. Okay, I've got the batteries in. And I will admit that it is not the best uh, system when it comes to strapping the batteries down. But it's really not that bad once you get used to it. All right, so I've got the batteries plugged in. I'm going to turn on the remote. And uh, you see where it says throttle limit here, 50%, 75, 100. And then a steering, neutral, reverse, throttle, neutral, reverse. We'll do 50% power for now, just to see what it's like. And um, before we put on the body, we're just gonna try it out in the street real quick. So now we're gonna press, hold the power on the ESC. See the fans just turned on. So the eight little beeps or chimes that it did signifies that the vehicle is running on 8S LiPo now. So now it's time to put it out in the street, see what it's like. Steering works great. Wow, this thing has a lot of power. Wow. That is pretty crazy. All right, let's get this thing down on the ground. Okay, so we've got it on 50% power right now. This thing sounds awesome. Keep in mind that's 50% power. Now we're going to switch it to 75. Wow. This thing is awesome. All right, now 100% full 8S power. Here we go. Make sure there's no cars. Wow. It actually spins all four tires. Holy sh**. God, this thing is just so awesome. Now I'm not gonna drive it too hard because on the first run, they say you're supposed to kind of just take it a little bit easy just to get all the fluids and everything and the diffs uh, going. Yeah, this thing is way too big and fast to be uh, recording and driving at the same time. So I got my GoPro on my head. It doesn't have the body on right now. I just wanted to kind of like do the first run. Right now it's on 100% power. It's uh... Wow. This 
This thing is almost too fast. I can't imagine what the upgraded pinion gear is like. Sounds so cool with those metal on metal gears. Man, this thing is scary. <laughs> All right, well, I think that should be good for now. I'm gonna get the batteries back on the charger, get them all charged up. I'm gonna go to the RC park where I'm gonna meet uh, Jay and Brandon from RC Boca and a couple other guys are gonna be bringing out their big scale RCs. Gonna race around the track, so I'm gonna get this thing in my trunk, charge up the batteries, and I'll see you guys at the park. All right, guys, got the Creighton 8S. Got my dad's uh, Rustler VXL or Valineon with a 3S in it. This is running 8S. Um, Taking both trucks to the park and meeting the guys from RC Boca, Jay and Brandon from Innovation RC. Should be pretty fun. See you guys there. All right, just got to the RC park. Got my buddy William here. Say hi. What's up? Uh, I got my dad's Rustler VXL here with the 3S LiPo. I'm gonna leave that in there for now. And uh, got my controller here. This is an X Max. Oh, yeah. Bunch of fist scales. Got my crate over there. And uh, now we're about to get some pretty sweet footage. Perfect. Oh, this is the felony. Okay, so this is the arm of felony. Holy hell. Yeah, felony. So the arm of felony, and that's a 1A7? Uh, uh -huh. I don't know. I want to say 17. Yeah, it's got to be. Got some nice weather out here. Got all the fish scales, electric, and also gas. Oh, we got an outcast. All right, Brandon's got the limitless out. So that's the one that does like a hundred and something? Yeah, it goes 136. That's the best I've done with it. Well, we gotta do this. It was geared for like, I think 90 or 100. It's oh, just for this road. Nine, that's very modest, 90, 100 miles an hour. That's... Yeah, very undermining. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I see. I love the outcast. <laughs> Damn, we got the Arma gang out here. I should go get my freaking crate now. I, I have the remote for it, but just doing a little bit of filming right now. Wow. Oh! <laughs> the little barrel roll there. Here we go. We got the Limitless. We got some traffic. Doing a burnout. Got a little bit of traffic. That's how you warm the tires up? Yeah. See, the little cars are bowling in the real cars. <laughs> See what? He doesn't know what to do. Uh, maybe you should just... Just, huh? come on, come on. <laughs> yeah. they're, I mean, they're, they're afraid to run over something that's very expensive. <laughs> Man, that felony is awesome. All that, and I broke it in the field. No, it, from the barrel roll? Yeah. What was shock, it, an AR? Track. Oh, shock fan. That thing is crazy. Oh, we got a car coming. Holy. Oh. That's not even full throttle. I have it geared very, very modestly. Ooh, got a lively street today. Very. Uh, race drones? Uh, Prius power. I that's got a race cool. in my car. Oh, that's, so you have a whole, this it's like, almost like a virtual reality headset, no, no. but you have the... FPV. It's completely different. So, that's your, so you're seeing basically what the camera's seeing, right? Correct. That's cool. I mean, if they are, if they are in the way, I can record them. Oh, you want this one? No, I'm over there. I'm just looking at Hey guys, you want an overhead shot of the drag race? Yeah, 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 go ahead. Well, can, you, can you be on the side? On the side? On the side of the road, if possible? What? Yeah, no, I'm gonna be on the side. I just wanna make sure. When, when you guys are ready? Now? Here we go. That's one badass drone.
That is just, that's unreal, man. So oh. Here we go. <laughs> just a little street racing on a Sunday. Oh, they're coming back. That steering set to like two percent, so just bear with me. All right, got a little drag race. Oh, Are you gonna turn it? Okay, so Brandon's got his arm is out here, the limitless, and then this one is gonna be for the uh, track here where these guys are running. There's another track over there. I got my Creighton 8S that William is massaging the tires, getting her ready to run. I'm gonna take her body pins off. So check out, hey William, so check out these, uh, the body pins. Um, I would lose, in the past, I would lose like hundreds of these. Oh yeah. And so there's this uh, body saver, which will keep it from tearing the uh, body. And these things are basically like a hood pin, so you pull them out. And um, so inside here, Inside here, there's kind of like this skeleton that will key into this, and it'll keep the body from slamming down, and it won't like collapse. And also, really, it's like it's thick. Yeah. It's thick Lexan. Um, you see the size of the shocks? It's just this thing is just. You mean the coil? -overs. Yeah, the, it's coilovers. Yeah, full coilovers. So uh, I'm gonna plug it in. What are, what are these BC racing coilovers? Yeah, they're uh, Fox shocks. <laughs> got the control here, so you just hold it. Actually, Brandon, no, I had a question. I what is this? So, Brandon, what is this? Why does it that say A is and B? Third channel. You know how there is. Do I not even need to bother with it? Well, not yet. If you want to get pretty cool and nifty in the future, when you learn more about it, you'll get more into more channels. You know the active link on, on the other one yeah. that I have? That's by another channel. That just gives you, it's like an accessory option to either have another servo, another fan, okay. lights, anything. So, it's this is one channel. The steering servo is going to be another channel, and that is like a quick release, and that's an anything channel. If you want to drive a car, I actually have this guy here, so you could be oh. a car. Yeah, I got my dad's rustler on the trunk, I got the battery. Oh, yeah, and yes, rustler's like the Honda Civic. I love it. He, I mean, we, we, I've, I haven't driven it in like years. No? So, so when I power it on, you're going to hear eight I'm for eight us. When it arms, <laughs> I'm going to stand it with you. That's eight. So eight is for eight cell. Um, now I'm gonna put the body on. The first time out, huh? It's too clean to be out. She's brand new. Literally oh. just broke her in today or earlier this morning. It won't look like that again. Nope. <laughs> no, my Revo, last time my Revo, it, ask him ask how, how dirty it was. Well, I mean. <laughs> there we go. I got the back ones looking nice and universal. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, so. That's what you do when you're ready to run it. You want to hold it and see how heavy it is? I'm warning you, it's heavy. No, both hands, trust me. Oh, man. <laughs> now just drop it. Just just like from right here, drop it. Stop. All right, first real run with the Creighton. All right, hold on. Wait, give me a minute. Well, are you just going to start that beast up? Yeah. I will say so far, this DX3 transmitter, I really love it. Oh, yeah? That comes good shit. I mean, for my Revo, I had a, I have an oh, old yeah, Axial yeah. remote, but I'm selling the Revo. I I don't know. I, I forgot how good brushless was, yeah. and I didn't know that one fifth one fifth scale brushless existed until three weeks ago, thanks to Brandon and Jay. Yeah. Um, oh, here we go. All right, let's do it. Ooh, I got hit by a rock. Here we go. Yeah, I literally unboxed it yesterday. I'm just 
<laughs> got the batteries. It came with an optional pinion gear, yeah. a 23 tooth, but right now it's, yeah. Everything's boxed I did the initial drivetrain break in earlier in my neighborhood, and then Brandon's got some extra batteries for me, but first fifth scale, so I'm just kind of taking it easy. Yeah. My Revo, I would take around that corner at 43 miles an hour on three wheels, but this one's a little bit, uh, a little bit of, really stable. Oh, I, I just wanted to see I how, love it. how it ripped right out of the box. Straight out of the box. Yep. Oh, yeah. I love watching the wheels get really tall. Oh, I know. All right, so the batteries on the Creighton are uh, done. We're gonna get my dad's rustler out of the car. Do the Robbie kick flip. Do the kick? <laughs> you actually kicked the car? I didn't mean to. Car's like, really? You're gonna kick me? Don't worry, it hurt me more than I hurt <laughs> That's on camera too. Okay. So Creighton's gonna take a little rest. We're going to take the rustler out. But I'm also so used to slamming the G-Wagon doors. That's, that's true. At the track, that's why I felt so bad when I, that one time I really slammed it. I was like, oh shit. All right, here we go. Oh, thank you. Don't worry, I want you to kick gloves. Yeah. I don't think it works like that. <laughs> All right, it's been a good five or six years since I even drove this thing, so. Is it the wheelie bar? Yeah. Oops. Nobody saw me spray the uh, pickup truck with rocks, right? Well, you're in the danger zone if you're parked here. This thing is scary, dude. I actually forgot how much fun this was. My dad's got to drive this thing sometime. I haven't driven this thing in probably six, seven years, I want to say, maybe. Oh, a little two-wheel motion there. Oh! We got a car behind us. Yeah. This thing's on steroids. Oh, that's why it's got a wheelie bar. All right, so full throttle doesn't work on this thing so well because it just wants to wheelie at 60 miles an hour. Oh, all right, that works. You see how it picks up the wheels at about 50? <laughs> 
super thinking you should slap them out. Oh! And there we go. So my dad's Rustler with a 3S LiPo, it wants to do a wheelie at about 50 miles an hour. And that's why I have the bashing body on. She lifts the wheels at about 60. Oh. <laughs> it's a good thing they saw you coming. Here comes Brandon. Alright, this is a little bit faster than the Creighton. Here we go again. He just wants to wheelie. Just laying you off the road. Did you guys like my skidding to a stop at about... <laughs> That's why I don't drive into my neighborhood. <laughs> Hey, we got another brushless electric car going here. What's up, dude? Oh, I don't want to get killed. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, coming in hot. Coming in hot. Here we go. That thing was hauling ass. Here we got a little drone there. All right, guys. So the bashing session is over. Uh, I'm just gonna enjoy to drive my dad's wrestler a little bit more until the battery go goes flat. Um, sun's going down here soon. There is no lighting here. The city uh, doesn't have any lights up here, so it's gonna get very dark soon. Um, but the Creighton is amazing. I got to really test it out. I'd say it's about 40 mile an hour truck and actually it comes with the optional pinion gear. Uh, turns out the version one did not come with that pinion gear. Um, so this one does, I'm probably gonna enjoy it for a few more runs and then I'll maybe put in the other pinion gear to see what kind of speed I can get out of it. But as always, thank you for watching and if you haven't already, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to stay updated on all my future videos. See you next time guys. Okay, so it turns out the vlog is not over. Uh, the RC airplane guys just went home for the day and we decided to leave the road course over there and take some of the limitless cars, brushless electric, seventh scale, eighth scale, over to the RC airstrip. Pretty cool. And this is a legit airstrip too. Nice. And it did 133, which is really wow. fast for a quadcopter. Dude, 133? So we got one of the planes is still here. He's about to take off. It had decent sized motors on it, get about three minutes of flight time, nine G's of vertical Dude, acceleration. Got an RC airplane taking off, it's brushless. That's another level. Don't know if I'm ready for that yet. Yeah, I was, I was worried and then as soon as it started tilting forward, I was like, did it instantly accelerate? I'm like, uh oh.
Oh, that would be such good footage, dude, if I was going by. We could totally do it. I know. What's Let me get into my neighborhood. Doing some drag racing out here. <laughs> oh, coming in hot. Who's doing that? I mean, if we're doing this, I don't want to hit that. I do not. That's Wait, now I need an infraction, Brandon. Oh, you're good. <laughs> Over there. <laughs> I wish it was daylight. Yeah. Uh, no, got the last of the sunlight here. But... Yeah. You all put those new GoPro LEDs. I'm moving pretty good. There we go. Like two miles a half. I don't know. <laughs> really? All right, we got the brain is limitless. <laughs> <laughs> that was a nice little power slide. Yeah. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> Alright guys, well that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching as always. See you next time.